Welcome Achievers to MySciences.com. This is Mr. Aguirre with another online lab. Today's lab comes from the California Whole Earth Science Edition. It's a quick lab entitled Ellipsis. The California standard is Investigation and Experimentation 1N. Observations are sometimes mistaken. Today's objective is planets orbit the sun in elliptical, not circular orbits. This happens to be Kepler's first law of motion. Kepler was born in 1571 and lived in Austria. He is most remembered for his laws of planet, uh, planetary motion, which eventually helped many centuries later Isaac Newton develop his theory of universal gravitation. The second law, so Kepler's second law, states that areas through which an object sweeps in a given period of time are equal. So in the example of Halley's Comet, Halley's Comet has not a circular orbit, but a very elliptical orbit around the sun. And what he proved through mathematics was that in this period right here of 2,313 days, this was the same as when the, the Halley's Comet reached the outer solar system, and this right here would be 2,313 days again. So that's what his second law of motion was. Eccentricity is the degree of elongation of elliptical orbits, and it's symbolized by the symbol E. A circular orbit would have an eccentricity of zero, while an elongated orbit, or an extreme elongated orbit, would have an eccentricity of one. To demonstrate this, you take two thumbtacks, a rubber band, oh, goggles, safety goggles, ruler, paper, cardboard, tape, and it's best if you take down the paper and then you put your two thumbtacks five centimeters apart, and then you take one of the while you put in your uh, rubber band, then you take your vis a vis, in this case, marker, and then you trace around it, and you have this circular orbit. Now, as you move the focus of the foci out, in the second time we do this, we're going to go out to 10 centimeters, same rubber band. Now we'll use, let's say, the black vis a vis. You notice that there's a little bit less slack. So, what you have is you have a circular orbit, so the closer you get to the sun in this case, the more circular the orbit, while the farther away you are, the more elliptical the orbit. So planets like Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars have not perfect circular orbits, but close to that. So their eccentricity would be closer to zero. Something like the outer planets, the gas giants, and even Halley's Comet, have the elliptical orbit, so their eccentricity would be closer to one. This is Mr. Aguirre for MySciences.com, signing off.